back with another vlog and it's been a while but your boy is finally back with Mr. Ahmed Deadpool and his beautiful Ford Mustang by the way Ahmed just did a new wrap on this car and this thing actually looks pretty clean and by the way we are here at Off-Road Museum which is owned by Isana Sheikh Hamad to take a look at the world's largest Hummer he is such an important client for Mercedes that for his marriage in 1984, they shut down the plans just to paint and trim his S classes in seven different colors. And guess what? It even came with three color quartered assault rifles. And this is not it. He owns over 3,000 cars and a private jet. Before we go to the world's largest SUVs, let me show you some of the other cars which he owns. By the way, guys, Sheikh Hamad also has the Guinness World Record for the world's largest collection of 4x4 vehicles. And almost all of these cars are heavily modified. By the way, guys, this, my friends, is the world's longest SUV. It's known as the Dabian. It's actually built from the chassis of this military truck and also a Jeep Wrangler. And this thing is beautiful, bro. It's super long. You know what I mean? Yes. And over here, we have another car. It's known as the the large spider this is also a bit from a jeep wrangler chassis and over there that's a special car that's the most expensive car in this museum this my friends is lamborghini's first suv the lamborghini lm002 and this thing is literally beautiful just take a look at this thing this car produces around 450 horsepower and that's actually insane that's the world's first 4x4 truck and this is one of the oldest 4x4 trucks literally he owns everything. This is a normal size Hummer H1 General. You know, it's actually pretty weird to say normal size because this car is yeah. actually super wide. You know what I mean? Yeah. And by the way, the world's largest Hummer H1 is 16 times bigger than this. Oh. So think about it. And over there, we have I have no idea what that thing is. Do you have any idea what that car is? It's like a limousine with 10 doors. <laughs> guys, just take a look at this thing. It's a Ford, I guess. I'm not sure, guys. Let me know in the comments below what car this is. But this thing has one, two, three, four, five, ten doors. <laughs> it's a international travel all. And wow. It's giving me those school bus vibes, you know what yes. I mean? Uh, almost all of these cars are custom built. That's the thing about Sheikh Hamad. Sheikh Hamad loves to custom build cars. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all of these are custom built cars. Yeah, and I'm not sure what's the name of this thing. Uh -huh. Just take a look at it. It's a hobby car beast. It's one, two. Before we go to the Hummer. Let me show you guys this beast. This, my friends, is actually the Lark LX52. And the engine of that Hummer H1 is actually derived from this beast. So, bro, what's the speciality of this vehicle? Engine, four engine, everything is four. Okay, so uh, that's one thing I noticed. This guy is literally written four and four and four and four and four and four. So what that means is this, that this car has four engines, four torque converters, four automatic transmissions, four differential, four planetary gear, and four wheel steering. That's insane. And this car was actually used in Vietnamese war, yeah? Okay, and another thing about this vehicle is this, that this car actually runs on both land and water. So it's actually a frog. Yes. <laughs> it's an amphibian. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. So, yeah, guys. So, this car was actually used in 1950s, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Vietnamese war happened in that era, if I'm not mistaken. So, let me know in the comments below. And, wow. So, anyway, the moment you all have been waiting for is here. Let's go to our Hummer H1. So, the moment you all have been waiting for is here. This, my friends, is the world's largest Hummer H1. Compared to a normal H1, it's four times bigger, yeah? yeah. Four times bigger than a normal Hummer H1, bro. So now you might be wondering, how do you enter this beast? I mean, it's not physically possible to open that door and enter. So in order to enter this thing, you have to take this ladder. And wow. Let me show you the head through. <laughs> it's insane. By the way, guys, this car actually runs on four engines derived from that Lark. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look at the interior of this beast. Oh my god. As soon as you enter, you'll get this wash base. And once you open this door, you'll get a 
toilet. I mean, I mean, think yeah. about it. You have a toilet in a Hummer H1. <laughs> it's a perfect family car, you know. It's like it a is. caravan. Comes with the toilet, wash basin, and another thing. Wow. I'm literally speechless. Jeez. And over here we have a small room. So let me show you what this thing is. Oh, wow! Remember what exactly is this? So I need to uh, radiator and all. Uh, in order to change the engine oil and everything. That's nice. That's nice. And not only that, how long did it take you guys to build this thing? Maybe one year. One year. Almost one year. Bro, the dedication is actually insane. And this is the driving area. So. I'm pretty sure this thing is also derived from that lark. Oh, oh my god. Ahmed, I'm literally confused, bro. What exactly is happening over here? We got yellow, red, main light, tan, tan, pam, 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 something. Something is happening, bro. <laughs> Let me know what exactly is this in the comment below. And we got the accelerator, we got the brake. And I have no idea. A lot of stuff is happening. I mean, mm -hmm. they did a lot of homework to build this thing. Oh, yes. And this is the majlis area. It's like a living room kind of thing where 10 people can easily sit. Bro, what exactly are these? This is the engine. Engine, okay. okay. So we got four engines. So in order to check everything, you can just lift them up and check it. Check. That's inside. nice. You can go inside. That's nice. That's nice. And you can open these uh, oh, flaps, yeah? Sure. Okay, that's nice. By the way, guys, this is the interior of this beast. And not only just take a look at the side view mirror, bro. It kind of reminds me of a 32 inch TV. You know oh, what I mean? It's <laughs> insane. And I'm, I'm not able to see your vehicle, bro. My car is missing. Hummer is eating your car. <laughs> <laughs> just take a look at the size of this Viper, bro. I'm literally speechless. So, that, my friends, was the world's largest Hummer H1.